usually when she's picked up. That's the one thing I worry about, her biting someone. And there's so many people here all the time, and I can't be telling all of them, don't pick up Willa, don't pick up Willa. As you can see, she just bit my close friend, who she knows very well, and she's bit me. But nothing really vicious, but it's drew blood, and that's something we can't have. See, and she doesn't seem to know that I'm boss. And that's one issue I have with her. Hugh Hefner's two-year-old King Charles Spaniel, Charlie, also causes Shara problems. On the walk, I really don't know what I should be doing when he constantly barks. Barks nonstop until we're off the property. Willa tends to also have aggression and jealousy issues towards Charlie. If anyone is giving Charlie attention, she tends to want it for herself. Come on, guys. Charlie seems to be a little fearful sometimes to approach the dish. She has a tendency to try to claim both of them. So usually I'll take the bowl and bring it to this chair, and hopefully Charlie will come up. Come on, Charlie. Oh. And this is usually when he starts to eat, when he feels safe and he knows she won't be attacking him. <laughs> Playmate Ashley Hobbs, also a mansion resident, demonstrates another of Willa's problem behaviors. She can be a little, a little bit of a rascal. Mm -mm. She kind of dominates, so she's like always pushing him aside because she wants the attention. And then you gotta separate them, and then do like spend time with one of them in one room, and then spend time with another in the other room. She does bite me occasionally when I don't hold her the right way. I hope Caesar can help me to train Willa with a very firm but still loving approach. I just really want to be the pack leader with my dog. Once I have the address of the location where I was going to be working today, I knew I was going to be working at the Playboy Mansion. So how can I help you? My dog, Willa. She has aggression issues when being picked up. Picked up by who? By anybody? By anybody, even me. And that's my main concern, because I want to be her master. So you understand the whole point of leadership and all of you, that you're OK with that? Yeah. So okay. she was two months when I got her. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, a two-month-old dog exhibiting aggression. How bad does she get aggressively, like from zero to 10? She can get up to 10. Like. <laughs> Some people have been bit where the skin has pierced, so. But she doesn't hold on to it. Like she no, just... but she, yeah, exactly. I had a case long time ago, neurological problem. You know, it's nothing I can do. So I hope, you know, they don't have this problem here at the mansion. And uh, because we're not gonna be able to help. Has she ever uh, have a, a bladder relief? Uh... She has never relieved herself when she was angry or scared, or she's just vicious and like angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> she's only seven months. Mm -hmm. I think we should go hands on, right? Mm hmm. All right. I'm so tempted to watch the, the magazines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a normal behavior, holding the head low like that? Yeah. So naturally, she's very, you know, submissive, timid. Would you say? I think her, it's different with different people. That's normal, because mm -hmm. some people uh, do know how to communicate with dogs, and some people think they know. Okay. For a dog, those human beings understand how to create friendship. Because the dog wants to know is, how do you smell, and how do you feel? I would usually call her over. Oh, OK, that's a good one. Yeah. This is how I do it. But oh, this is true. because I've learned. But most people, they'll just they'll just go like this. Oh, OK, like yeah, that. see, that's very See? scary. That's when she barks. But so, so there's nothing wrong with that, because that's really, that's really overwhelming to a dog. Let me do it. Okay. Since I'm new to the picture, right, so I'm going to see how she feels about my, my touch, you know, first, before I, I, I go into the whole carrying thing. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Right here. Very cool. <laughs> Her brain understands, OK, that hand and that energy makes me feel this way. My experience the first time with him, it was very respectful. Hmm. And he, at the end, he let me smell him, and then he put me down on the ground. So my experience with him is, was to trust him. Yeah. So 
you know, when I see a dog like, like her and it's holding the head low and the ears are low, so she's very submissive. Very sweet, not sure, but very sweet. That's her sweet disposition. I'm glad that she doesn't have this neurological problem I was thinking that she was going to have. The Playboy Empire's top dog, Hugh Hefner, comes downstairs to check on Shara, Willa, and Charlie. How are you? How are you, sir? Very well. Thank you. Hi. Good, cutie. <laughs> there you go. Are they behaving themselves or are they misbehaving? They're much better than they usually are right now. <laughs> yeah. They really well. are. <laughs> So normally, what do we see normally? What do you guys experience normally? It goes through this sort of phony. Yeah. You know when we give treats out at night, sometimes they kind of get aggressive. They get aggressive around food. Food, they, yeah. If they, sure. Especially those Most treats. So. animals do. Yeah. Willa, she hasn't really good sit. No. See, I don't, that's not good. Yeah, so I don't want this? her doing that. Yeah, so here. Nice. As soon as they put the rear in the ground, then you reward. Eventually, <laughs> you let them wait with the rear in the ground three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. So it's never the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. If you go to Mexico, dogs wait. So dogs in third country wait. <laughs> dogs in America don't You're wait. You're too spoiled, well, right? Very, very American dogs. Yeah, yeah. They well, they don't wait. people don't make the dog wait, mm -hmm. or people don't lead the dog. The dog leads the human. Yeah. If you don't tell them, they're going to tell you. Oh, it's one or the other. Oh, OK. Yeah. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And then, of course, I got to meet Charlie. And Charlie Charlie was a little bit more insecure, a little too sensitive. This is for Charlie, right? Mm -hmm. we want, we're going to feed Charlie. We're not feeding Charlie so we can empower him with leadership or dominance. We're just teaching Willa to wait while Charlie eats. Then Charlie feels, OK, that guy is protecting me, so I don't have to worry about for her. Hmm. So she just go into a waiting stage. There you go. Then because she waits, then we bring the plate to her. So she never goes to the plate. The plate comes to her because she did something for it. When Caesar was showing me how to feed the dogs, I realized to avoid the problem wasn't really fixing it. So that really is something that just so tiny of an adjustment, but it made the world of a difference. Charlie first. No. And then I just push her. Move it's not a push, it's just or... a block. There you okay. go, see? It's just a block. So that blocks, even without saying any word, she can't go to the ball. See, it wasn't a push, I just block, uh -huh. right? So I catch her by surprise, that's when she did that. There you go. And then they go into a waiting state. When you push, they come right back. Follow what I mean? Yeah. Let's do it again. We're going to do Charlie, Charlie again. No. Nice. Oh. Nice. And then when he's done, then I can give her one, right? That's right. No. So what you're seeing is, because the brain never goes into excited state or dominant state, you will never hear growl. Mm -hmm. So it's always about waiting then, right? That's a calm submissive state. See, so when the mind is waiting, you get the obedience that everybody wants. Yeah. Caesar visits the Playboy Mansion to help playmate Shara develop her pack leader skills. No. The Playboy Mansion offers plenty of opportunities to practice Caesar's lessons. It's actually a perfect scenario because you get to learn what not to do. You're telling people, can you come and, you know, pick up my dog? I'm going to show you or I'm going to help my dog to trust you. At the end, Willa can actually help people how to pick up dogs. Want to see what Ashley, you another playmate, joined us because she wanted to see how to walk the dog. And she said, you know, Charlie gets really out of control. See, he's pulling a little forward more now. Look. Never let him pass. That's it. That's the key. But every dog has a code. So every dog has its own way to be helped, to be taught. So if everybody practices the same way, the dog learns to trust everybody. Right? So nobody's changing their code. Everybody follows the same. The only position you can have when you have a laid back energy or tense energy is follower. You can't lead. They don't, they don't feel protected okay. when the human is laid back or tense. But if a human is assertive, and then that's your position. Hmm. Can I? Yeah, please. 
As for walking, I did get a little bit of advice that I know is gonna go a long way by having them not being walking me. Like that was my main issue where the dogs were actually walking me and not vice versa. So these little dogs are following. So you're not paying attention to the dog, you're paying attention to your energy. Don't relax. Uh, she's... So you're looking at the ground. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not even so much about wrapping the leash on your, on your arm, it's like really. See it? Hmm. It's a little tense, see, the arm, mm -hmm. can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. But at least one, one good thing that she's not doing is looking at the ground. Right. But because she's doing it with tension, you see how the dog pulls the other way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have to keep yourself... There you go. Yeah. That's relaxed. Yeah, it's go. really about relaxation. <laughs> the dog is just imitating the energy that you're providing. Yeah, I noticed the first time I was walking, she was pulling, That's so right. I was a little tense, That's you know, because right. I knew she was doing something she shouldn't be. Yeah. But then coming back, it's a little you more... Feel it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he usually never walks beside very me. Very nice, He's right? Always yeah, very nice. It's She's actually right. having. <laughs> it does sometimes it's... influence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. Can we you leave you with some peace of mind. Good points. Advice. Yeah. You can just practice it. Yeah, exactly. And then you teach everybody else yeah. in the match. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you, nice Thank you guys. You so Thank much. you very much. Really Appreciate nice. it. Here's your girl. Ladies were saying it's magic, it's miracle. It's neither. What we changed was the state of mind. And Charlie and Willa, you know, acted as calm, submissive state. That's it. I was really relieved to know that I don't have a crazy dog on my hands. I really feel like I can be a pack leader. It'll take some time and some effort on both our parts, but I really believe I have it in me. I was Playboy's Miss September 2011. I love working with everybody. All the girls are great, and Hef isn't so bad himself. Yeah, it's been good. <laughs> I didn't grow up with dogs. I always had cats, and then when I got married, I found out that I was allergic to cats, so then it was time to get a dog. It was around Christmas time, so I thought, you know, okay, why not? Let's get her a dog. It turned out to be a very big challenge. Marley is just excessively hyper. His play drive is through the roof. Come here, come on, get a cookie. Yeah, it's out there. When we brought Marley home, he just, this high-pitched screaming. <coughs> this was terrible all night long. The next night, we baby-gated him into the bathroom. He cried all night. He chewed the moldings off the bottom of the bathroom. It, it was like having a baby. We didn't sleep, ever. No, Marley. When Tiffany and I eat dinner, Marley is jumping at your legs, or if you're sitting down at the table, he's almost up on the table into your meal. You can't leave your meal unattended because it will be gone. Oh, yeah. Marley. When people come over, Marley just goes nuts. He nips at everybody's faces. He's just running around like crazy. Just basically lunges like a dart at them. You're concerned that when they walk through the door, what's going to happen? Marley just loves to chew furniture. Even though he's got a box full of toys, I guess furniture tastes better. My husband and I really want a new couch, but I, I'm scared that Marley is gonna chew it up. It's not our couch, it's Marley's couch. We go through his cookie jar, I swear, I'm always refilling it. That's the only way he'll listen, is food. I think treats, it's used in the wrong manner. And he just thinks, oh, I'm getting rewarded for that. I'm a police officer. I deal with a lot of uh, stressful situations, and I feel like I'm pretty confident at work being able to do that, but for some reason, I can't control this little 22-pound dog. He's gonna end up biting somebody really hard one day, attacking a little kid. Since a puppy. Oh, so you raised him. Right, we raised yeah. him. So how did he become so spoiled? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Okay. I, that's probably the biggest problem is when he does have some type of bad behavior. I don't know if he gets corrected. So the problem is not that he bites people. The problem is that he doesn't have consequences. Right. Yeah, I don't think Marley's ever had consequences. <laughs> no. You have two choices. Mm -hmm. You address the behavior or you ignore the behavior. We've tried ignoring it, it's pretty Yeah, hard. but it's too high for you to ignore it. <laughs> so you have to address it. Yeah, so, so that's when you know that you okay. need to address it. He right. listens when we have food. 
Because the only way I've gotten him... It's convenient for him, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's working on his schedule. Uh, yeah, he works on your emotions. I'm telling you. He goes through like a jar of cookies a week. Like, it's He's pretty... an addict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a police officer. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. So you represent an authority figure. Right. But at home, you don't. No. You know, you represent friendship. We treat him like a baby. Like, we actually tuck him in at night. He really thinks he's a baby, though. He likes no, to no. be tucked in. You think he's a baby. <laughs> yes, you do. In your reality, he's a baby. But, but in my reality, he's a dog. So he's going to okay. listen to me better than he's going to listen to you. I guaranteed you. I'm going to be so confused. By the time I have kids, I'm going to be treating the kid like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> When I see a sliding door and I see someone like Tiffany, you know, with the dog, they say, my dog is my baby, and I treat like a baby. It's, what they do is when they see a sliding door, they just open the sliding door, and the dog just come in, and the house becomes a playground. So right now, I ask the owners to stay in the room so we can have an evaluation. We can create an imprint between him and I. This is the door. So most of the time, people negotiate here, but this is going to be very quick. The main purpose of the touch is just to snap the brain out of it so you can then feed energy. Ah, uh, finally. Right, so when you hear a sound like, oh, it's because you finally catch him by surprise. So he have to learn. When the sliding door is open, doesn't mean he can come in. So there's no negotiation about it. He has learned that if he jumps, the door gets open. He has learned he makes those whiny sounds that you're hearing. The door gets open. Right here. There you go. Surprise. Caught him by surprise. So again. See it? So this is the third time. The third time, what he's saying, okay, that guy, he's asking me for space, not to be so much at the edge of the sliding door. We're not creating rules yet, but we're creating a boundary. I have uh, my pack outside. I'm going to evaluate how he reacts with dogs. See, Junior is already sensing something. Don't let him come, Rojo. You see, keep him right there. Junior is entering into an adult stage. And you see a lot of, let me control this. It's normal. See that? That's not good. See that intensity in Junior? So I'm going to wait for him to look at him the wrong way. Junior knows that he's not. His nose is becoming a little bit more powerful than my presence, which is, is normal because Junior is becoming now an adult. After a short pack walk with Marley, Caesar returns to the house to face the bigger challenge of convincing Tiffany and Jeff not to baby their dog. You can totally see it. You know, I don't even have to tell you anything. This dog is getting affection, affection, affection. He has to stay calm. That's when they can do the baby talk, you know, and, oh, you're my baby, you're my baby, you're my baby. You're my baby, yes, you are. I don't like the pain. Hi, my baby. So he has to learn that when they hear the sound, he has to stay calm. Oh, he get them. OK. Now it's time for Tiffany and Jeff to practice discipline with Marley. OK. But I want to see how you open the door. OK. Because <laughs> we got to see how she does it. I haven't seen how she does it. That's exactly what I want. Come in like a race car. My suggestion would be for the future, and hopefully the future is, is like um, two seconds later, right? Is uh, you, you come right here. Uh-huh. And he have to wait. OK. Right? Wow, he's just standing there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> so that, that, and then that sound becomes, OK, that sound means whatever I'm doing, I have to stop. OK. And my choice is not to move forward, it's to move back. So it's a very simple but it has an essence of stop right now. We got this, right? So we're gonna do it here. Oh. 
right? So that's very tempting, because now you're bringing that scent. Now, the closer this gets, the more tentative it becomes. <laughs> now he's licking his lips. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But at yeah. the same time, he's not passing that barrier. I just can't believe he's not, like, going after... Oh, 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 no, Mar Next. no! <laughs> see, you're, no, Marley, no! You see, it's, that's way that's too not... much unnecessary. Okay. Because the more sound you bring, the more he knows that you don't know how to control. So now he's thinking, what do I got to do to work if for it? If that's what you want. The, the, the touch is just to follow through, because you already gave him the warning. For yeah, him. he's smart. He just, or it was us. <laughs> <laughs> Good, finally. Ding, ding, ding. So watch this. See that the touch snapped the brain out of it? Mm-hmm. So we're still sharing the house. Good, so you can sit at the table now, but not eat our food. <laughs> that's up to you if that's not, you know, something that happens in my house. Right. I'm gonna see if I sit, he'll, uh... Cause then he usually feels comfortable if I'm sitting here to take something. When you move into a certain area, you have to have the visual that you wanna achieve. Mm -hmm. It's not, let me see what happens. And then you set any mom to fail. You see okay. what I mean? Cause you need to visualize. So he feels secure that when you enter, you own it, your space. Okay. I just don't know what it's going to be like later on. Well, well wh I'll tell him how you, it's going right. to be. That's right. That's right. Tell him. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> if you hold him back, he's going to move forward. You don't want him to move forward, touch to the side. It creates an out-of-balance experience. Mm -hmm. So whatever the brain is looking at, yeah. the concentration gets broken. The light bulb came on with the food right in front of him. It was like, oh, that's all you have to do? That's that easy, Yeah, huh? we were actually making it harder and not getting any results. Exactly. Let's go for a walk. Let's do it. So you got different breeds, same state of mind. So here, tail. In the middle, it's a good sign. Okay. Look at all the tails. They're all happy. Tail up in the air, not a good sign. No? It's excitement, it's tension, or it's dominance. Okay. Yeah. So the only state of mind that won't bite is the one in the middle. Yeah. So then you bring them in. Watch how they do nose, eyes, ears. It's not about what's your name, what breed are you. There's no tension on the leash. That's it. It's the nose, eyes, ear. Nobody's asking, what's your problem? What Caesar came to see you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What does your humans do for a living? None of that. <laughs> but they're shh. He doesn't know this shh as much, like everybody else. So I want him to come back here next to me and finish this, the ritual of smelling right there. No complaint. Let's walk your dog now. This is it right here, OK? So we're going to do it. So you can practice this way just for your shh to learn to practice less physical and more trust yourself, your energy. Obviously, I keep doing it, but you have to do it, and that's the only way I can stop. Yeah. Here, your turn. Okay. You do it by yourself, go back and come back. Okay. We watch you from here. Okay. Just, there, do it, do it, there you go. Relax the hand, there you go. He's testing you, come on. Come on, Marley. Relax the hand. Watch, what, watch where. You can see the energy right here. She is not completely relaxed. I was kind of a surprise when we learned that he was more so training us than him. I was totally switched around. I had no idea it was like that. So. Yeah. Was he OK on the turn? You just have to turn. OK. So you're still asking permission. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, I got to tell this. him. Yeah, yeah, watch this. So I'm going to turn right here, look. He's going to turn right here. OK. Just turn. Just turn, just, yeah. just really. Just I know, I keep, like that. Like, I keep like pet talking. Remember like, when I was saying no negotiation? Do not negotiate with a child. Okay. <laughs> Don't negotiate, okay. Just, yeah, only contracts you negotiate. That's better. Just turn, boom, turn. There you go. That's a good turn. Turn. The only thing here, it was just to shorten up the leash, but it was 99.9. Okay. Now you do it, hon. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. This, this is, is the test. Le left handed setup? Whatever you want. Do it. He's tired, so we take, take advantage. He's, that's the beauty of having a pug. That's what we usually do. We just tire him out, and then that's how we get that's the That's right. That's good. That's a big difference. I'm sorry, but <laughs> see it this. 
But it's normal. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, that's his job to tell you what to do. He's not a bad guy, but you got to tell him what to do. You see what I mean? Like the guys that you arrest, probably, you got to tell him what to do. It's not like, can, can you go inside the police car? No, you're going inside the police car. Right. Right? <laughs> I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Right. The more you walk him, the easier it becomes inside. Okay. 90%, 90% of the relationship human dog is when the human master the walk. We're both on the same page now, where I think as before we could have been on different pages, you know, she had a way of uh, dealing with them and then I had a way of dealing with them, but now it's the same. We go for bike rides a lot and we bought a little kid trailer for him to pull him in, but we have to strap him in there because he jumps out at each person but, that rides by. But, but why he's not running with you and then he goes on it? Along right. the bike? Yeah. We, we'd run him over. He would totally love it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. He looks happy. I thought he'd be getting run over by the tires. So I'm excited. We're going to go amazing. do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you practice it here first before you go to on the long yeah. route. Okay. And then when he's tired, he goes in that little car that you have, or I don't know what it is. <laughs> and that makes sense. OK. Yeah, because he was scaring a lot of people. Because he'd jump out and start yelling at people. Chasing. And then they expect a kid in there. And yeah. then, right. oh, one of those. <laughs> Really, what I want them to focus is to see how simple it is, exercise, discipline, affection. That's, that's, that's all we need. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> right, Thank you. The future looks pretty good, because it looks like I'm getting new furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Before you got here, we're like, oh, Caesar's going to teach you. <laughs> he needs it. Or we need it. <laughs> yes. We need it. Yes. February 2010. I've traveled all around the world. I've gone to Sweden and China and all different places. It's just been an amazing experience, life-changing. Heather lives with Josh, a Playboy photographer, and his two dogs. You know, little dogs are just easier for me, especially, you know, living at the beach and, you know, the houses are a bit smaller. Sebastian is very close to Josh. That's his everything. Baxter was also a rescue. His problem is he's very scared and timid of anyone walking behind him. Wanting a dog of her own, Heather began visiting adoption sites. I came across Brandy, and I just felt drawn to her. And she was very skittish at first, even towards me. But we took her that day and brought her home. It's stressful when we added Brandy into the mix. Brandy, Brandy! She's unpredictable. One person needs to be focused on her at all times. Brandy, she's very protective of me. So if anyone comes near me, especially men, she'll attack. Are you okay? Eight years with the show, first dog play. A chihuahua. I just feel so bad. No, I mean, it's really embarrassing. She doesn't like other dogs, so when I take her for walks, she attacks other dogs. It's OK. She also goes after children, which is really scary for me, because little kids, they want to come up and play with little cute chihuahua. I have to tell them, no, you, cannot, you can't touch her. Brandy! Brandy! I don't think Heather's doing anything to encourage her behavior, but I don't think she's doing anything to prevent it. My problem is I don't want to be mean to her because I feel like she came from an abusive home. But I definitely am not helping. Oh, brother. <laughs> this is a typical day? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, problem is the chihuahua. Her. Yes. Her. Mm -hmm. And so what happens? Somebody gets close or what? Somebody will get close to me and she'll bite them, attack them. Mm -hmm. And so what is your reaction when she goes after people that's... <laughs> Brandy! Like, I'm like, no, Brandy, but she obviously doesn't listen. <laughs> Brandy. What I would like is for you to apply a little bit more the no Brandy right away. OK. Right? Brandy, no. That's the right thing. Like that? Yeah. Again. Brandy, no. 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 You stay right there. You relax. Yeah. 
So that's a, a little bit more proactive. Mm -hmm. At this moment, you're telling the brain not to touch the human. So it makes more sense to use that approach. Now, w once you say no brandy, you can't stay tense. Yeah. You gotta relax. Okay. If you stay tense, and then the danger is not gone yet. So they, they will pick up on your relaxation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's how they know that you're okay now. Get it? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go here. No brandy. So what, what we're seeing is this. Look, like I'm not sure about uh -huh, not your sure. stress, right? So you look, mm -hmm. she's doing good, and then you go back to relaxation. Okay. Your body can tell us how you feel inside, but they actually feel it without looking at your body. The human have to see the body, they don't. The aggression is not the problem, it's the outcome of a problem. The real problem is her insecurity, Brandy's insecurity. They're picking up, okay, okay that guy, it's not to be trusted. Even though I'm not biting the guy, she's not trusting. Okay. You see what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's not that you're not trusting me, it's that you're not sure what she's doing. She's gonna do. Uh -huh. She's gonna do, yeah. Brandy could become insecure because a human mistreated her. In the case of Heather, she didn't know what to do with it. So both are insecure. But then when you feel sorry for her, then, then Brandy becomes insecure dominant. And then Heather becomes insecure submissive. Oh, this makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. So if she's nervous and you get nervous, it just gets really bad. So I'm going to sit on right here. Right here. Brandy, so just, no. This is just an approach, right? This is good. Right? So if I don't give touch, talk, and eye contact, I'm going to be able to help her. Because at the end, she's going she's gonna to smell me. Mm -hmm. Right? She's not smelling me yet. She's just seeing and hearing. That's what makes a dog nervous. When a dog uses his nose, he becomes more curious, more submissive, more dog-like. So I'm doing it by steps. So that's how you gain the trust okay. of a nervous dog. Instead of addressing themselves or trying to gain the trust with the nervous dog, you go after the calm dog. Then the nervous dog sees, okay, how come he gets the touch and I'm not getting it? Mm -hmm. And then they see, okay, that dog is calm. It was interesting to watch how Brandy moved closer to him and licked his hand, and where usually around men, she freaks out, and he went through those steps. He wasn't making eye contact, he wasn't touching her, he wasn't doing any, showing her any affection, and she was wanting that from him. So I'm still addressing here. I am allowing her to move. I'm not trying to accelerate anything, I'm just letting it be. Get, come closer again. My tool here is my arm blocking her from running away. Okay. Because the more she runs away, the more chaotic she becomes. Mm -hmm. And she's not going to face what makes her afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. she, this is normal. The whole wiggling thing is normal. Ah! Wait, wait, there you go. Wait, wait, very normal. Oh. That moment of chaos, you're right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you didn't get hurt. Uh, that moment of chaos, she have to go through it, and then she have to see that nothing really bad happened. But if you if you keep her away from things, you, you will never challenge the mind, so the mind will never experience what it is. It almost hurts me as a mom to see her freaking out because I feel like it's hurting her. And, you know, Caesar kind of made me realize that she needs to go through that to get past that. So she went through the experience, right? The mind was challenged. This is the reward. Okay. The dog actually did something mm -hmm. for it. Should we go for a walk now? Okay. You guys want to go for a walk? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> the walk means this. <laughs> Exciting, right? Yeah. yeah. Ready to go? <laughs> oh, God. You know, when I came to America, I knock on the door, right? People say, please, don't say walk. It's spell it. This is it <laughs> right here. Perfect. Look at him. You want to go it. for a walk? <laughs> She bit half. Oh, no. Yeah. So she's not allowed in the mansion anymore? No, she is. She? He forgave her. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I see a, a dog that is under control by the handler. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not focusing on the dog. OK. You're focusing on him. On the handler. Okay. If the dog is in front of the handler, 
And then I said, okay, that dog is not under control. Mm -hmm. So I never judge the dog. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So here from far away, the same thing, she's, she's one to flight. We're just unlocking the okay. brain. This is good. Oh, this is, this is great, 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 great stuff. Because this is a way where you say, no, no, we're moving forward because this dog is under control. Okay. If this dog was not under control, I'd stay outside. Okay. No tension on the leash. Mm -hmm. There you go. See, nose kicking. Hmm. But see, we're making the decision. Uh -huh. So she feels safe that way. So and usually she attacks all dogs whenever they walk by. So I think she felt the calmness from Caesar, and then she also felt the calmness from the other dog. Now we're getting to see how you do it. See the difference? Now, if this was a Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. you'd, be, you'd be carrying the Louis Vuitton not very proud, uh -huh. right? So. With Louis Vuitton, everybody's very proud, very calm. Mm -hmm. Right, watch this. With the handling this way, this is tension. Okay. And that's how I was holding it, with tension? Right now. Okay. Yeah. So here uh -huh. is relaxation. Okay. Heather's friend Amy, a fellow playmate, joins the group outside. Heather and I both have little dogs. It's hard to you know, reprimand your dog when they, <laughs> they're so little and so cute. The two playmates live nearby and get together frequently with their dogs. I'm just a big softie, and I think she's kind of has similar tendencies. Amy is a good friend of mine. We're literally like 10 minutes from each other, and it makes it really nice for babysitting. And our dogs get along pretty good, but there's definitely jealousy. Okay. Brandy will snap at Layla. She's such a small dog. She is easily threatened and intimidated, and I think that she just feels the need to protect herself. Layla has problems when we come across another dog. All the other dogs, I feel like, are so good. And I have, like, the bad kid. I'll be walking with her and not even paying attention to anyone. Maybe I'll be on my phone, and ah, that's the problem. You know, that's a big problem. You're disconnected. <laughs> and she. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So what do you do here? This is a ripple effect. The one who triggers it is down. So once we address Layla, everybody else shuts down. <laughs> No, no. Season Milan with a pink leash. <laughs> That's right here, right here. So next to me, mm -hmm. when you're passing by, it's next to you. It's, mm -hmm. it's easier, right? Mm -hmm. So look, we don't have the explosion. How did you do that? I just didn't let her lead me. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go on a walk. Come on. That's better. Turn around, do it again. OK. Layla, come on. Let's go. There you go, right there. You address it right there. Yeah. Now, when you address, that, there you go. Okay, relax my yeah. arm. One more time. Okay. It's too, too many obstacles in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's really sexy, the stroke. It's almost like she's in a catwalk, but a, a little bit more relaxed. There you go, that was good. You know, but a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, good. But the only thing here is she's taking whatever position she wants to take. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a different leash? So here, use this one. Huh? The flexi leash. All the way to the top. Put it all. Here, look. This is how it works. Short, but not tense. So it's actually easier. So here, look. See it? So. There you go. Much better. Feel it? Yeah. That's, this yeah. is it. That's the feeling. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. So it was uh, sexy and calm. Right. Early was sexy but tense. All right. Whatever she sees is not what you want. Let's go. There you go. Nice. That was nice. I am amazed that within 10 minutes of working with Caesar, she was by my side, walking right along with me like a normal dog. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It really is. I cannot even believe that they're doing this. I wish uh, Caesar could move in with us. <laughs> um, it was definitely amazing, and just what he taught me in that short amount of time. Look, look at the Chihuahua. Very proud of herself. Look at tail is up. I tried walking all four of them last week, and it was miserable. <laughs> you want to do it? 
Oh, yeah. Do all it, four? do it, okay? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So do I hold them all in one hand or two separate? Two and two. Okay. Just remember, don't negotiate. There you go, just go. Go, go with Heather. The only stop is because you hesitated. Okay. That's all. There you go. There you go. If she stays consistent with what you learned today, in a matter of a month, she can be just traveling with branding. Just worry about remembering what we talk about today. Any yeah. questions for Very you? cool. It's I mean, you will have questions? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but just let us know. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate much. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, man. <laughs> you have a good job. <laughs> Great talking to Caesar, watching him watch the girls walk. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot today. Okay. Amy and I definitely hang out a lot and we take the dogs for walks. And if we just do this a little bit every day, you know, we'll, we'll be pack leaders. <laughs> Our kids aren't the bad kids anymore. <laughs> the Playboy Mansion has always been a dog-friendly environment, but now it is a friendly dog place thanks to Shara's hard work with Willa. Hey Caesar, it's been a few months since I've seen you and I'm really happy to say that Willa is better with strangers and she's better with her food aggression and also we can go on walks now and she's not always tugging and pulling, which is really nice. Thanks again Caesar. come and see us anytime. Hey Caesar, it's been about a month since we last saw you and Marley is doing a lot better. He's better at walking now when we take him out and He's not jumping on the table and eating our dinner, and he's just a lot more calm, so we appreciate everything you've done for us. Hi, Caesar. It's Heather and Josh and the whole family. So far, Brandy is still a work in progress, but she's doing a lot better with her walking, not running all over the place and staying with the pack, and we thank you so much for coming here and working with her. Thank you. Thanks, Caesar. Remember, for your dog, it's not about whether you are a playboy or a playmate. It's all about being a pack leader who earns trust and respect. I am the dog whisperer.